Hey guys, Captain Jeff here from CGS Knives. Just uh, want to do a video on my latest backcountry. This is the CGS backcountry knife, and uh, I did a forced patina using uh, white vinegar. And just wanted to show what that looks like. Uh, I got some handmade or homemade uh, my card on here that I got from a gentleman in Florida. He does wonderful work. It's a burlap micarta. Some white liners. You see the patina really makes the white liners show up. But I'm really happy with it. I haven't even uh, reshaping, resharpened the edge here. But I will go ahead and do that. But I did this um, It's about an hour. I put it in a crock pot that I have here in the shop and just turn it to a low setting and let it sit for an hour that's what I came up with it's got a, a four inch handle a five inch blade it's a full flat ground with a convex edge and uh... it's very sharp, got some jimping on the back of the spine and it comes in a kydex sheath the kydex sheath has a three inch wide webbing for a belt strap and that is adjustable for what height you want the uh, knife to ride up on your waist. Also, it is compatible for a tech lock or um, a fire steel holder. I can add a fire steel holder on there or whatever, but uh, holds the tension really nice. And just the patina looks really, really great. I, I really like the way it looks. I think I'm going to start offering this option to anybody else that wants their patina done. Uh, the pins and the thong tube were stainless steel, so they didn't get affected with the patina, so it's kind of a nice contrast, having the, the uh, silver-looking pins and the, the lanyard hole against the nice gray-looking. Uh, and uh, I was able to dunk the whole knife in the uh, vinegar, so I got the whole spine and everything um, done with the, the vinegar, the whole patina done. Here's some up close shots. You can see that burlap micarta looks so very cool. It's a CGS stamp. I mean that that just looks really really cool. I like the way that patina came out. All right, so here's a customer's um, back country that I finished a couple days ago. He got the green micarta handles, and this is some more of that homemade micarta. This green burlap, uh, no liners, and this do look a comparison of the two blades you see the silver and the patina the regular blade with the patina blade next to it and you can see the differences between the two so I mean I like both versions I just wanted to try the patina to see what it would look like um, and I, I, I really like these handle material let me get an up close shot here. Here's the green. So you see the two blades together side by side. There's a definitely a big difference. I'm not getting as much glare off the patina blade obviously. And uh, both these knives are completely identical, except for the patina and the handle material. You see the green doesn't have any, any liners in it. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. But anyway... So this one is sold, it's 
going to a uh, friend of mine on Facebook and he's getting the same type of sheath and he's getting a matching matching ferro rod with uh, handle material for the handle it's uh, 3 8 inch thick and that's attached to ferro rods attached to the sheath it's got the same nylon webbing attaching system and that's how all these back countries will be see it snaps in really good neither one of them are coming out both on a retention system the paracord or the kydex just wraps around the back side So I'm pretty happy with uh, the way they turned out on these back countries and the patina. I really like the patina on this one. And um, I might be doing some more like this with the patinas, the force patina on it. So pretty happy the way it came out. I'll go ahead and uh, reprofile the edge, the convex edge, sharpen that back up. It's still sharp. I mean, the uh, Obviously the vinegar didn't do anything to it, but uh, just to get it shiny again. Alright, so I got the, the edge back again, so you can see what I'm talking about. And it's ready to go out in the woods and uh, get beat on a little bit, get used and abused. So, I really like the way that the um, Tina looks and pretty satisfied with the method. I found that if you heat up the the vinegar like in a crock pot like I have that it doesn't take quite as long. Like I said this was an hour, a little over an hour that this set in the uh, the vinegar and it came out pretty nice. So anyway guys there's the uh, the CGS backcountry patina and no patina. And uh, these are available on the website to order. I mean, obviously I'm behind on orders already. Just sent uh, quite a few out for heat treat. So if you're interested, contact me and uh, put your name on the list.